Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. Yes, I review a lot of rimfire firearms and ammunition on my channel, but I also review a lot of centerfire rifles and pistols. Uh, this is going to be a centerfire review. This is a TC Compass, also known as a Thompson Center Compass rifle. And this particular one is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Yes, I do a lot of high-end reviews on my channel, but a lot of you have asked uh, me questions concerning the TC Compass, if it was any good, because this is an entry-level rifle. Savage, Ruger, and almost every firearm company, uh, major firearm company, has an entry-level rifle. And this is Thompson Center's Compass. This is their entry-level rifle, which you can pick up this rifle without an optic for under $300. Kentucky Gun Company contacted me and asked if I would like to do a review on the TC Compass. And I said, you know what, I do get a lot of questions on this rifle, so might as well do a review on it. So they were nice enough to send me uh, this TC Compass in 6.5 Creedmoor. But yes, this one's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, but they also uh, are chambered in 223, 204 Ruger, uh, 243. Uh, 308, 65 Creedmoor. Uh, those are pretty much your short actions and a couple other more calibers. But they also make, you know, this rifle in longer actions such as the 270 and also the 300 Win Mag. Before we get to the shooting part of the video, uh, you get a lot of rifle actually for under $300. Now you can get this package, uh, which you see here with this Vortex Crossfire 2 3x9x40 and Leupold rings from Kentucky Gun Company for under $400, which is a really good deal in my opinion. But I have put probably at this point 100 rounds of different kind of ammunition through uh, this rifle and for the video I am going to be shooting some Federal Fusion. These are the 140 grain um, projectiles. Now the reason why I picked this ammunition was it usually shoots pretty well out of this rifle and not only that this is considered an entry level hunting rifle not really a long range precision rifle but a very accurate hunting rifle. This rifle does sport 5R rifling, uh, so a lot of companies are going over to the 5R rifling uh, in the past couple of years. And this one, sure, easy cleaning and also a very accurate rifle. It does have a three lug bolt design. Uh, this one, sure, very smooth feeding. It does have an adjustable trigger. Mine came from the factory at five pounds, but you can adjust this trigger from three and a half to five pounds. You can also adjust the over travel of the trigger. This rifle does have a three position safety. All the way forward, of course, is fire. If you go halfway, you can still manipulate the bolt, but the firearm will not fire. And all the way back is safety. With safety, the firearm will not fire and the bolt will not come open. Yes, if you looked at the front of the muzzle, it is threaded. Now that feature is usually on a little bit higher end guns, usually around the $400 range, but this particular rifle, all the compasses are threaded, so this will make a very good suppressor host. It's got a 60 degree bolt throw right here. So this one's sure that you won't pinch your finger against the scope when you are trying to put another cartridge into the chamber. It also comes with a flush fit rotary magazine. This is a polymer magazine. So you really don't have to worry about this particular magazine denning or anything like that out there in the field. And since it fits flush, you don't have to worry about snagging it on anything, whether you're shooting it on the bench or if you're shooting it from a shooting house. But the magazine does hold five rounds. You can buy the package deal from Kentucky Gun Company with this Vortex Crossfire 2. Like I mentioned before, it is a 3x9x40 and it is a pretty good scope. Now, if you wanted to do some longer shooting at 8, 9, even 1,000 yards, you may want to consider an upgrading the scope. It does have a synthetic stock with a Monte Carlo cheek piece and, of course, rubber butt pad. And it does have the swivel studge right here in the forearm and also on the rear of the rifle. Enough talking about the compass, time to do some shooting. One of the claims from TC is straight out of the box that this rifle will shoot one inch groups, one MOA at 100 yards. Um, I have been doing a lot of shooting. Like I said, I've put 100 rounds through this particular rifle and the rifle is definitely capable of doing it. The problem with shooting it over and over and over again is that this is a sporter type uh, barrel. And with sporter type barrels, they're very skinny, uh, so which, that basically means once you do a lot of shooting, this barrel heats up extremely fast. And if you know anything about uh, rifle shooting or pistol shooting, once that barrel starts heating up, you start losing some accuracy. All right, I have my camera target set up down range and I will be shooting at about 101 yards. So we'll just call it 100 yards for the video. But I'm putting some 140 grain fusions because this is considered 
and hunting load and uh, probably 99% of the people that will be purchasing this rifle will be using it for hunting. So, all right, let's see what we can do. And if uh, Thompson Center's claim to fame of a one inch um, group or less at 100 yards using premium ammo, and they base this on a three shot group, not a five shot group, because like I mentioned, this is a sporter barrel. After three shots, this barrel starts heating up and you're gonna start losing some accuracy. So, all right. Here we go. Make sure my ears are in good. This is a 100% cold bore. I have not shot this rifle since yesterday. Okay. Looks pretty good. Favoring a little bit to the right. Wow, that's not actually too bad. That looks a little bit more than an inch. Uh, probably about an inch and an eighth. I will put it on the calipers and show you guys exactly what it is. But let me give this rifle probably about 10 minutes for the barrel to cool down and we'll fire another three shot group. I retrieved my target down range and there you go. That is about an inch, maybe just a hair better than an inch, but that is not bad. It is favoring a little bit to the right, but all you have to do is just click your scope over a few times and uh, you should be right in the middle. I'm not gonna touch the scope, but I am going to load up three more rounds and see if we can duplicate the same grouping. And again, I'm shooting just some Federal Fusion. This is a great, great hunting load. I've taken a lot of large game with the Federal Fusion. All right, here we go. We do have a little bit of a breeze out here today, but it's not too bad at 100 yards for a 6.5 Creedmoor. Whoop, lost a box of ammo. That one looked favored a little bit to the right, just like the other ones. So probably about, probably about three clicks to the left, it would be perfect. But we're just going to keep shooting at the same point of aim. Right there beside the other one. That's looking pretty good. Holy cow, <laughs> that's a sub MOA group. Let me retrieve the target and I'll show you guys the three shot group I just shot out of a less than $300 rifle. I pulled my target down range. That is a three shot group. That is very much so a sub MOA group out of hunting ammunition. Now, like I said before, their claim to fame is a MOA rifle for under $300. I've shot $1,000 6.5 Creedmoors that did not shoot half inch groups with hunting ammo. Now I have shot uh, those $1,000 rifles with match ammunition and um, I'm not gonna shoot any match ammunition for this video. Maybe later on I will revisit this rifle at probably like a thousand yards with some match ammo. But you know, the rifle will shoot and it will shoot very well. My final thoughts on the TC Compass and 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, for under $300, you get a lot of features, a threaded barrel, an adjustable trigger, a uh, three lug bolt, and you know, you really can't go wrong. It is a very good setup for under $300. And for under $400 with the scope combo from Kentucky Gun Company, uh, wow, 
you, <laughs> it's, it's a winner in my book. You know, a lot of people want to take a, you know, three, four $400 rifle to the woods. They don't want to take a $2,000 match rifle to the woods with them because you are exposed to the elements, you know, rain, snow, sleet, mud, and uh, you really don't want to mess up that very, very expensive precision rifle. But as I just showed you, um, this rifle shoots sub MOA at 100 yards, and I can't really be any more pleased with it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more reviews like this, just meat and potato reviews, uh, not going into a 25, 30 minute video shooting 100 different kind of ammunition, just the meat and potatoes um, on rifles or pistols that you may want to get, whether they be entry level, mid level, or upper end, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep linking. Mm -hmm.